American Comics. Common Writer Who Started From Behind the Scenes. Chapter 41. Seeing Loki suddenly appear in front of him. Thor, who was sitting on the chair, finally showed some reaction and asked in his hoarse voice. Loki, why are you here? I have to come and see you. After hearing Thor's question, although Loki's expression did not change, his tone made people feel the sadness in his heart. Thor, who was sitting on the chair, naturally heard something different and asked hurriedly. What happened? Tell me, is this about Jochenheim? Let me go explain to my father. Hearing this, Loki could no longer suppress his inner sadness. After looking at Thor, he lowered his head again and said in a sad tone. Father is dead. Hearing the news brought by Loki. Thor froze in his place, unable to utter a word. A pain that surged from the inside of his body filled Thor's body and mind. After a long time, Thor suppressed his sadness and trembled as he said the next sentence. What? Obviously, at this moment, Thor couldn't believe what had happened. His father was the legendary king of the gods, the ruler of Asgard, how could he die like this? Loki, who was standing in front of Thor, raised his head and looked at Thor and said solemnly. The threat of your expulsion and renewed war is too much for your father to bear. Don't blame yourself, I know you love your father. I also tried to persuade my father, but he wouldn't listen. Knowing that you can no longer lift Thor's hammer, I still put it in front of you. It is really cruel. Having said this, Loki paused for a moment before speaking again. Now the burden of the throne falls on my shoulders. After listening to what Loki said, Thor slowly raised his head and looked at Loki. His mouth opened slightly, but closed again after a while. After repeating this several times, Thor finally said the words hesitantly. Can I go home? Loki shook his head at Thor and said sadly. The condition for the truce with Jochenheim is to banish you forever. After hearing Loki's words, Thor could no longer hold back tears and continued in a sad tone. Okay, but isn't there another way? But this time, before Thor could finish his words, Loki interrupted him and said. The Queen Mother won't allow you to go home. I'm here to say goodbye, brother. I'm sorry. Hearing this, Thor could only shut up and finally said goodbye to Loki with an apology. No, I should apologize. Thank you for coming to see me for the last time. After saying that, Thor slowly closed his eyes. At this time, Loki also said his final goodbye to Thor. Goodbye. After saying that, Loki turned around and left the interrogation room. However, at the moment when Loki turned around, a sinister smile appeared on his face. Farewell, my dearest brother. Mirror world. At this time, Leon shook his head after watching the affectionate drama between Thor and Loki. Relying on lies blindly will not last long. Loki, let me help you. After all, my knight's name is also Odin, I won't be biased like your father. After saying that, Leon didn't delay any more, he took out Odin's card box and shouted directly. Transform. As the voice fell, Leon once again transformed into the strongest knight, common rider Odin. After Leon successfully transformed, he directly pulled out a card from his belt and inserted it into the golden summoning machine. Time is coming. With the sound of an electronic sound, a bell sounded slowly from Odin. Slowly, a wave of time began to spread from Odin's body, and began to penetrate into the real world little by little. After a moment, when the power of time was completely spread, Li Ang could no longer control himself and fell to the ground, gasping for breath. After a long time, he spoke. I have blocked the time and space in this area. With the ability of Odin, the king of the gods who is now sleeping, it may take some time for him to find out that something is wrong. You should cherish this time to act. It turned out that in the mirror world at this time, besides Li Ang, there was another person standing next to Li Ang. And this person looked exactly like Li Ang. After listening to what Li Ang said, this mysterious person who looked exactly like Li Ang spoke up. Well, thank you for your hard work. Leave the rest to me. After saying that, the mysterious man who looked exactly like Leon turned around and left the spot, slowly walking towards the mirror in front of him. Obviously he wanted to return to the real world through this mirror. But the most terrifying scene appeared. As the mysterious man who looked exactly like Leon walked, the face of this mysterious man also began to change slowly. Finally, when he was about to leave the mirror world, 
the face of this mysterious man froze in a completely new face shape. If someone who had seen Kamen Rider Ryuki in Leon's previous life saw this, he would probably scream out immediately. It's Shinji Shirodo. Compared to the little angel Shinji Shirodo in the world of Kamen Rider Ryuki, the face of this Shinji Shirodo in front of him reveals an evil aura. At this time, Leon, who was lying on the ground, saw Shinji Shirodo leave, and a smile appeared on his tired face. Then please, another me. It turned out that this person who looked exactly like Leon was Leon using Kamen Rider Odin's exclusive special time control. The one summoned from his own timeline belongs to the last second. And this is also the most terrifying ability of Kamen Rider Odin. The reason why Kamen Rider Odin can surpass the other knights is never the so-called attack power, defense power, agility, or another characteristic space control. Those abilities may be very important, but for Kamen Rider Odin, these are just icing on the cake. 4. Kamen Rider Odin, there is only one thing that is really important, that is, the time control characteristic. As long as Kamen Rider Odin has the time control characteristic, he can summon countless of himself from countless time nodes to fight. This is why Kamen Rider Odin was called a mass-produced knight by netizens in his previous life, because for the user of Kamen Rider Odin. Unless you destroy the Kamen Rider Odin on the correct timeline, no matter how many times you destroy Kamen Rider Odin, he will wake up again from the long river of time. For the user of Kamen Rider Odin, what he is least afraid of is death. Just like the real name of his contracted beast, it is an eternal and immortal golden phoenix. However, with Leon's current strength, he cannot maintain the summoning for a long time. After a few days, the self of the last second will disappear and return to the long river of time. Real world. At this time, the gaze returned to Thor's hammer again. Loki came here at this time, looked at the Thor's hammer in front of him, and after hesitating for a moment. Loki still walked forward, stretched out his left hand to hold Thor's hammer, trying to lift Thor's hammer. But no matter how hard Loki's left hand tried, Thor's hammer remained motionless on the ground. Even in this situation, Loki still stretched out his right hand with an immortal heart, trying to lift Thor's hammer with the strength of both hands. But before Loki could exert force again, a voice suddenly came from behind Loki. It's useless. You can't lift Mjolnir by yourself. After hearing the mysterious voice coming from behind, Loki loosened his hands that had just grasped Thor's hammer and turned around in a hurry. He looked around in disbelief, wanting to see who had just discovered him. You know, as a god in Asgard, Loki never thought that his proud illusion would be seen through by others on Earth. But no matter how Loki looked, he couldn't find the mysterious man who had just called him. Just as Loki was about to speak anxiously, a voice came from Loki's ears again. What, are you looking for me? Hearing this, Loki quickly turned his head and looked behind him, while controlling his steps, trying to get away from the guy behind him. At this time, a man wearing a black coat and long brown hair appeared in front of Loki. Loki carefully looked at the mysterious man in front of him, and then launched an illusion. After shielding the hearing of the staff working near Thor's hammer, he said. Who are you? Are you here for Thor's hammer too? After hearing Loki's question, the mysterious man in front of him smiled evilly and said. Who I am? Ha 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 ha, you can call me Shinji Shirodo, or you can call me Kamen Rider Ryuga. I'm not here for this hammer, but for you. Hearing this, Loki realized that something was wrong, and hurriedly summoned his double swords, pointing them at Shinji Shirodo, and said. The target is me. You are really unlucky to target a god. But before Loki could finish his words, Shinji Shiroto interrupted him and said. Haha, God. Then let me see what the so-called God is like. Let's see if it can compare to my dragon fang. After saying that, Shiroto Shinji took out a silver black card case and pointed it directly at the mirror and said. Transform. As Shinji Kido finished speaking, a common rider dressed in black, silver and gold appeared in front of Loki. Obviously, this was the first time Loki saw a common rider, and he couldn't understand why the man in front of him suddenly changed into this form. He couldn't help but exclaimed, what is this? But Shinji Shiroto, who had transformed into Ryuga, ignored Loki and quickly moved closer to him. By the time Loki noticed that common rider Ryuga was approaching him, it was too late. He could only say, how is it possible, at this speed? 
Before Loki could finish his words, he was grabbed by the neck by common rider Ryuga and pulled into the mirror behind him. The staff working on the scene had no idea the two mysterious people had appeared in this place before. Mirror World. At this time, Loki, who had just been brought to the Mirror World by common rider Ryuga, also reacted. He swung his double swords and stabbed the common rider in front of him. But unfortunately, common rider Ryuga's defense was obviously beyond Loki's estimation. Click. Snap. The common rider Ryuga in front of him didn't take Loki's attack seriously at all, and let Loki stab him with his double swords at will. But no matter how hard Loki tried, he couldn't cause any damage to the common rider in front of him. Finally, when Loki's strength was almost exhausted, common rider Ryuga let go of the hand that was holding Loki's neck. After common rider Ryuga let go, Loki put down his double swords directly, covered his neck with both hands, and knelt on the ground gasping for breath. Obviously, just now Loki was almost suffocated to death by Kamen Ryuga grabbing his neck. After Loki recovered a little, Kamen Rider Ryuga in front of him finally spoke. What? This is the power of Kamen Rider. Looking at the smug Kamen Rider Ryuga in front of him, Loki could no longer bear the anger in his heart and stood up again. He roared at the Kamen Rider in front of him. I am a god, you idiot. After saying that, Loki put his hands together, obviously wanting to summon his most powerful artifact, the Frost Box, to deal with the hateful Kamen Rider in front of him. But Kamen Rider Ryuga, who knew all of Loki's methods, how could he make such a low-level mistake? Just when Loki put his hands together, Kamen Rider Ryuga quickly came to Loki's side again. Let me show you what a slap is like. After saying that, Kamen Rider Ryuga swung his right hand and slapped Loki in the face. Snapped. With a snap, Kamen Rider Ryuga stopped Loki from summoning the frost box. A red slap mark appeared on Loki's face. After Loki received the slap, his whole body began to tremble, and he obviously couldn't believe it. How dare this mortal do such an unreasonable thing? Then Loki raised his head again and looked at Kamen Rider Ryuga in front of him, and roared again. How dare you, you lowly mortal. Snapped. Unfortunately, before Loki could finish his roar, Kamen Rider Ryuga slapped Loki again. Two consecutive slaps made Loki fall to the ground dizzy, feeling that everything that happened today was just a nightmare. After all, when Loki came to this so-called mortal world, he never thought that he would suffer such a humiliation. He is a noble god, shouldn't he be high above, accepting the worship of these mortals? How did everything turn out like this? Common rider Ryuga looked at the distraught Loki in front of him and couldn't help but smile evilly. Ha 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 ha, what a weak god. Then common rider Ryuga squatted beside Loki and said to him softly. Haven't you felt any changes in your body yet? After all, this is not the real world. After hearing the words of this hateful common rider in front of him, Loki's face changed, and he began to carefully feel the changes in his body. After a moment, Loki said with an unpleasant face. Where on earth did this come from? How could such a terrifying energy exist that it has been devouring my body? After hearing Loki's question, Kamen Rider Ryuga stood up again, opened his arms, and solemnly introduced Loki. This is the mirror world, a world full of infinite possibilities. As long as you are here, you can get all the power you want. Including a power that is more powerful than your brother's so-called Thor's hammer. At this point, Kamen Rider Ryuga looked down at Loki again and said. As for why your body was devoured, it is because this is the rule of the mirror world. The only people who can survive here, besides the original inhabitants of this world, are those who have used powers similar to the one I just transformed into. How about it, are you interested in my power? If you want, I can give you a copy. After listening to the introduction of Kamen Rider Ryuga's temptation, Loki's face changed several times, and then he asked Kamen Rider Ryuga with a hint of desire. Real. Really. Kamen Rider Ryuga simply replied and threw a green card case to Loki. Seeing this, Loki hurriedly took the card case and looked at it carefully in his palm. The card case was mainly green, with a golden lizard head printed in the middle. As Loki looked at the card case carefully, Kamen Rider Ryuga continued to speak. This is the card case of Kamen Rider Yao Kui. As for how to use it, you have just seen it, so I won't say more. 
Hearing this, Loki turned his head and looked at Kamen Rider Ryuga again and said. Why, if its power is so strong, why did you give it to me? After hearing this, Kamen Rider Ryuga raised his head and laughed for a long time before squatting down again, pointing to Loki's heart and speaking. You think I want to give you this? This is all fate. It's fate. Seeing Loki's puzzled face, Kamen Rider Ryuga didn't keep him in suspense and explained directly to Loki. Each card case has a contract with a mirror only those who are recognized by this mirror beast can use its power. And I came here to find you this time because the card box in your hand told me. This is the destiny. Having said this, Kamen Rider Ryuga paused for a moment and then continued. But I have no reluctance to give you the card set of Kamen Rider Yaokui. After all, I like ambitious people the most. I believe you will bring new changes to the world. After all, the world nowadays is too boring. Only a world of disorder and chaos is what I pursue. Well, let's stop here. Giving you the card set of Kamen Rider Yao Kui is considered to have completed my mission this time. I hope you are still alive when we meet next time. After saying all these words, Kamen Rider Ryuga stood up, waved to Loki, and left the mirror world. But after leaving the mirror world, Kamen Rider Ryuga returned to the mirror world again in less than a moment, and added a sentence to Loki. Oh, I forgot to tell you just now, if you have nothing else to do, I advise you to leave here as soon as possible. Why? After hearing what Kamen Rider Ryuga said, Loki asked in confusion. Because when I came here to look for you just now, I met an indigenous resident of the mirror world. However, he seemed to have been abandoned by his own tribe and could only wander around in the mirror world. I thought it was interesting so I had a fight with him, and then he ran away after I injured him. Although he was injured by me, I think he will come to avenge me after his wounds are better. If he doesn't find me, what do you think will happen? After Kamen Rider Ryuga replied, he left the mirror world again, but the difference was that he didn't come back this time. After Loki was lying on the ground and heard what Kamen Rider Ryuga said, he shuddered all over and stood up in a hurry, and left the mirror world with the help of Kamen Rider Yao Kui's power. In the real world, in the evening, in a small bar in Mexico. Thor had been rescued from the interrogation room by Dr. Eric Schalvig. Thor picked up a glass of wine from the table and drank it all, then said sadly to Dr. Eric Schalvig beside him. I got it all wrong. All wrong. Looking at the sad face of Thor, Dr. Eric Schalvig comforted him. It's not a bad thing to realize that you don't have all the answers. You will start asking the right questions and grow again. Thor, who heard Dr. Eric Schalvig's comfort, had confusion in his eyes, and muttered with a confusion that he himself could not even detect. This is the first time in my life that I don't know what to do next. Hearing Thor's tone, who was already beginning to feel confused, Dr. Eric Shavig looked at Thor and smiled, then said again. Anyone who wants to find his own way in this world must first admit that he does not know where he is. Thor, just keep going forward firmly. Hearing this, Thor also showed a relieved expression, and then thanked Dr. Eric Shavig. Thank you for your help, Dr. Eric Shalvig. Doctor. Eric Schalvig quickly waved his hand, turned to look at Thor and said. No, don't thank me, I just did it for simplicity. His father and I used to teach at the same university. We were good friends, but he just didn't listen to others. Hearing this, before Dr. Eric Schalvig finished speaking, Thor also said something similar. Me too. My father wanted to teach me, but I was too slow. Dr. Eric Shavig could no longer hold back and said to Thor directly. I don't know if you are delusional or if you are playing some trick. I don't care, I only care about her. I saw the way Jane looked at you. Thor suddenly realized that this was what Dr. Eric Shavig wanted to say from beginning to end. In this regard, Thor could only say helplessly. I swear to you, I have no intention of hurting Jane. After hearing Thor's assurance, Dr. Eric Shavig finally smiled. Well, in that case, I'll buy you another drink, and then you leave town tonight. Hearing this, Thor could only nod helplessly. Seeing this, Eric Shavigbo gestured to the bartender and said, Two glasses of alcoholic bombs. As soon as Dr. Eric Shavig finished speaking, the bartender brought two large glasses filled with fine wine. Bang! As the glasses clinked, Dr. Eric Shavig and Thor drank the wine in their hands. Help! There's a monster! Help! 
But at this moment, a girl's scream came from the bathroom of the bar. Hearing the cry for help from the bathroom, Thor, as a warrior, put down the wine in his hand and rushed to the bathroom. When Dr. Eric Shabig saw Thor running over, he hurriedly shouted. No, Thor, don't go over there. But unfortunately, the only thing Thor was thinking about at that moment was to rescue the girl who was begging for help in the bathroom, so how could he stop? When Thor rushed to the bathroom door, the people who were originally near the bathroom left the bathroom with fear on their faces. And when they ran away, they said in a fearful tone. Run, there are monsters. Run, there are monsters. Hearing this, Thor frowned, obviously unable to understand what these humans meant. After all, for Thor, this is just Midgard, there should be no extraordinary power, so how could there be any monsters? Thinking of this, Thor didn't think much about it, just opened the door of the bathroom and ran in. What? What is this coming from? It turned out that when Thor ran in, a monster in the shape of a rhinoceros appeared in front of him. At this time, the monster was grabbing a woman and trying to drag her into the mirror. Seeing this, Thor didn't know what race the monster in front of him was and why it could enter the mirror. But as a warrior, Thor's sense of responsibility made him unable to give up the hope of rescuing the girl. Therefore, after gritting his teeth, Thor rushed directly to the back of the rhinoceros monster in front of him. He raised his fist and hit the rhinoceros monster's head hard. It hurts. Obviously, the thickness of the leather armor on the rhino monster's body was beyond Thor's imagination. Thor's fist that had just hit the rhino monster's head turned red instantly. This forced Thor to grab his fist and rub it continuously. Obviously, he wanted to relieve the pain in his fist in this way. On the other side, the rhino monster that had just been attacked by Thor stopped grabbing the lady in front of him. Turning his head to look at Thor behind him, he said angrily. How dare you, lowly Lindo, attack the great Garangi. It turned out that this rhino monster was one of the weirdos who were disqualified by Rose Girl and expelled from New York City that day. After being expelled from New York City, the group of weirdos had already broken up and moved around separately. After separating from his companions, this rhino monster chose to come to this small town as his activity location. What made the rhino monster feel unlucky was that he had just arrived in this town not long ago and he ran into a black and silver masked rider. What made the rhino monster even more depressed was that he couldn't beat the black and silver masked rider and could only flee in embarrassment. Fortunately, the black and silver masked rider didn't have any killing intentions, otherwise the rhino monster might not have been able to escape. When the rhino monster fled to a safe place, the rhino monster was so angry. When he thought of all the things that had happened in these days, he was first disqualified from the competition, expelled from the tribe, and then beaten up by the masked rider. This thought made the rhino monster more and more angry, so he left the mirror world directly and wanted to kill a few Lindo in the real world to relieve his depressed mood. What the rhino monster didn't expect was that when he wanted to catch a Lindo to vent his anger in the mirror world, other Lindo dared to stop him. This made the rhino monster feel even more humiliated. When did he fall to this point? Even the low-level Lindo dared to attack him. Thinking of this, the rhino monster let go of the girl he had just caught and turned to look at the Lindo who had just attacked him from behind. If you want to die, then let the great Garangi send you to the grave. After saying that, the rhino monster grabbed Thor, who was rubbing his fists, and dragged him into the mirror world. At this time, Dr. Eric Shabig arrived late. As soon as he opened the door of the bathroom, he saw Thor being grabbed by a rhino monster and put into the mirror. This frightened Dr. Eric Shabig so much that he fell to the ground. At this time, behind Dr. Eric Shabig, there was a shield the agent who was specially sent to monitor them also saw everything that had just happened. He hurriedly took out the communication device from his pocket and reported everything that had just happened in the bar to his boss, Agent Coulson. After receiving the notification from his subordinates, Agent Coulson's whole expression fell into a state of tension. Is it a monster from the mirror world? This is trouble. Thinking of this, Agent Coulson no longer hesitated and left the base with a group of his men and rushed towards the bar. Mirror World. After Thor was brought to the Mirror World by the Rhino Monster, he was thrown out of the bar by the Rhino Monster. Boom. In this way, Thor was thrown 10 meters away by the Rhino Monster. As Thor fell to the ground, he felt that all the bones in his body were broken in this fall. 
he couldn't help but groan in pain. The rhino monster also saw this scene and couldn't help but laugh triumphantly. Ha 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 ha, stupid Lindo, you will pay for your offense just now. After saying that, the rhino monster walked in front of Thor again and grabbed Thor, who was like a puddle of mud at this time. Obviously, he wanted to throw Thor out again, and torture Thor to death little by little in this way. But how could Thor let the rhino monster do this? Perhaps Thor has lost the divine power that he is proud of now. But the pride of being a warrior has always been flowing in Thor's heart, and Thor will never allow himself to die in such a cowardly way. Therefore, Thor endured the severe pain from his body, and when he was caught by the rhino monster and was about to be thrown out, he launched his attack. I don't believe your eyes are also protected by thick armor. Thinking of this, Thor did not hesitate and directly inserted his right finger into the eyes of the rhino monster in front of him. Ah, the sharp pain in the eyes made the rhino monster in front of him scream out in pain, and couldn't help but loosen his right hand that was holding Thor. Seeing this opportunity, Thor also distanced himself from the rhino monster in front of him, and took the opportunity to squat on the ground to catch his breath and recover. After all, the rhino monster's throw just now tortured Thor a lot. If he was not an Asgardian god with extremely strong physical fitness, Thor might have been killed by the rhino monster's throw. At this time, the rhino monster rolled on the ground in pain for a few rounds before slowly standing up, looking at Thor with his other good eye and roaring. Lindo, you have made the biggest mistake, and I will kill you in the most cruel way in the world. After saying that, the rhino monster rushed directly towards Thor. After seeing this scene, Thor could only stand up slowly. Although his body had not fully recovered, the scene at this time did not allow Thor to recover slowly. Now is the moment of life and death. Although Thor did not know where this rhino monster came from, nor did he know whether the place where it is now is still Midgard. But these are not important at this moment. The only thing to do now is to fight well and kill the rhino monster in front of him. Thinking of this, Thor also rushed directly towards the rhino monster. Just like that, when the distance between the rhino monster and Thor was getting closer and closer, Thor was the first to change his moves. Because Thor knew that the rhino monster's thick armor had extremely high defensive power, and he could not defeat it with his bare hands. For Thor now, the only chance of winning was to use a trick to attack the rhino monster's weak points, and he also needed a weapon to assist. Therefore, when he was about to get close to the rhino monster, Tony raised his two fingers and stabbed the other intact eye of the rhino monster. This scared the rhino monster who was sprinting towards Thor. You know, one of his eyes was blinded, and he didn't know when he could recover. If the last eye was blinded now, the rhino monster might really become blind, and he couldn't see anything, which would be a big trouble. Therefore, the rhino monster hurriedly braked and stopped his sprinting pace. At the same time, he protected his last eye with both hands to avoid any accidents. All of this was within Thor's calculations. Seeing the rhino monster protecting his eyes, Tony didn't delay and ran directly over the rhino monster's body and ran towards the bar. Although Thor was not sure whether he was in the real world, since the scene in the mirror was exactly the same as the real world, it meant that there might be some weapons here. When Thor thought of this, he had successfully returned to the bar. At this time, the rhino monster also found that he had been deceived by the Linduo in front of him. His face instantly turned red with anger, and he chased in the direction of Thor. You Lindo, you are dead. Thor, who had successfully entered the bar, hurried to the front row of the table and kept searching for something on the table. Here, I found it. Finally, after a while, Thor found the drawer where the knives were placed. Just as Thor took out the knife, a loud bang was heard at the door of the bar. Bang. With the loud noise, the door of the bar was instantly smashed to pieces by the rhino monster. Seeing the rhino monster rushing in, Thor directly pulled out two knives from the drawer and threw them in the direction of the rhino monster. Clang. Clang. Unfortunately, the rhino monster's defense was too strong, and the flying knife that Thor threw with all his strength could not cause any damage to the rhino monster at all. This made Thor's face suddenly become even uglier. Can't you even get hurt like this? It seems that I can only wait for an opportunity in close combat. Thinking of this, Tony pulled out two knives from the drawer again and slowly walked towards the rhino monster. At this time, the rhino monster also saw Thor approaching and not only taunted. 
What? No more childish tricks. Just die obediently. After saying that, the rhino monster raised his right fist and punched Thor. Seeing the fist getting closer and closer to him, Thor quickly lowered his head and dodged the rhino monster's punch from under the fist. Then Thor instantly stepped sideways to the side of the rhino monster, and swung his two swords to chop at the rhino monster's lower body and ears. Clang! Clang! But unfortunately, facing the rhino monster's thick armor, no matter how hard Thor swung his double swords, he could not cause much damage to the rhino monster. After seeing Thor dodge his attack, the rhino monster became even more furious and attacked Thor again. Faced with the rhino monster's increasingly frenzied attacks, Thor could only barely find a place to hide and take the opportunity to launch one or two attacks. But no matter where Thor attacked, it did not cause any damage to the rhino monster. This also made Thor's face become more and more ugly. No, still no, it seems that the only part that can cause damage to him is the eyes, but. Thinking of this, even Thor didn't know what to say next. It turned out that the rhino monster was using one of his arms to protect his eyes, and only used one arm to fight Thor. Obviously, he was afraid to give Thor another chance. No wonder Thor, who is now powerless, can fight with the rhino monster until this moment. This is the result of the rhino monster being restricted by his eye injury and unable to use his full strength. But at this moment, there is no other way except to take the risk of attacking the rhino monster's eyes. Thinking of this, Thor gritted his teeth, and once again used the obstacles in the bar to avoid a heavy blow from the rhino monster. He deliberately revealed a flaw, trying to tempt the rhino monster to put down his hand protecting his eyes and attack him. Sure enough, after seeing the flaw that Thor deliberately revealed, the rhino monster could no longer hold back his anger at this time. As a member of Garangi, in the heart of the rhino monster, only the most special Rindo, that is, the common rider, can have the strength to fight with him. But what happened today was beyond the rhino monster's imagination. Because today, he actually met an ordinary Rindo who could hold on to him for so long. Although this Rindo was not as strong as him. But he was able to make himself unable to win for a long time, and even took advantage of his carelessness to directly blind one of his eyes. All of this was unacceptable to the rhino monster, so when he saw Thor's flaw. The rhino monster could no longer bear the impatience in his heart, and did not want to miss this opportunity, so he directly put down the hand that was originally protecting his eyes. He hit Thor's chest fiercely. But this opportunity is not only a good opportunity that the rhino monster has been waiting for for a long time, but also a good opportunity that Thor has created with great luck and hardship. Therefore, when the rhino monster lowered the hand that was protecting its eyes and attacked him, Thor also raised his right hand and stabbed the long knife in his hand into the rhino monster's eyes. Click. With the sound of bones breaking, Thor was directly blown away by the rhino monster's punch. Then he stopped after crashing into the wall of the bar. Looking at Thor again at this time, there was a dent in Thor's chest, and blood was pouring out of Thor's mouth as if it was free. It looked like he couldn't survive, and the rhino monster on the other side covered his eyes with his hands and howled wildly. Apparently, the only intact eye was blinded by Thor's blow. Thor looked at the rhino monster in front of him who was blinded and howling in pain, and a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth, but then he closed it again. Yes, although he successfully blinded the monster's eyes, his life also came to an end. What is there to be happy about? I hope Dr. Eric Schalvig has left the bar. Goodbye, father, mother, and Loki. You must protect Asgard well. And Jane. Thor was at the end of his life. At this moment, memories of his past life kept flashing through his mind. Thor's consciousness gradually became more and more blurred, and his eyes slowly closed together. But just as Thor's consciousness was about to disappear completely, a mysterious voice sounded from Thor's heart. Thor Odinson, the chosen hero, do you choose to accept your sacred mission? Hearing the mysterious voice in his heart, Thor, whose consciousness was gradually dissipating, answered in a daze. What is that? I'm almost dying. Can this save my life? Abel. Then I accept it. After Thor accepted this sacred mission, another voice sounded from Thor's consciousness. Time has come. It's a pity that Thor was already in a state of near death at this time, and he didn't hear the voice clearly at all. As the voice fell, a series of bells rang out in the bar and an extremely strange scene appeared in the mirror world. 
The wounds on Thor and the rhino monster next to him began to heal slowly, and the items that were destroyed in the bar began to recover one by one. It was as if the time of the whole world had reversed. Finally, as the bells stopped, the small bar in the mirror world had completely returned to its original state. But Thor and the rhino monster were gone at this time. But if someone looked closely, they would find that the alarm clock placed in the bar at this time had returned to more than an hour ago. At this time, Thor had just been brought to the bar by Dr. Eric Shavig. In the real world, in the evening, in a small bar in Mexico. Thor had been rescued from the interrogation room by Dr. Eric Shalvig. Thor picked up a glass of wine from the table and drank it all, then said sadly to Dr. Eric Shalvig beside him. I got it all wrong. Complete. But before Thor could finish his words, he stood up and muttered in shock. What's going on? Didn't I just? At this time, Thor stood in front of the wine table and kept stroking his chest, and in the process he kept talking to himself. How is this going? Did I just dream while drunk? Impossible, I can drink a lot, how could I be dreaming? And the pain I just felt was so real, this. Dr. Eric Shalvig, who had seen the whole process, was dumbfounded. How could this man get sick again just after being rescued? Seeing this, Dr. Eric Shalvig, who had originally planned to have a good chat with Thor, could not help but stood up and said to Thor directly. Hey, I don't know if you are delusional or playing some trick. I don't care, I only care about her, I saw Jane looking at you. But before Dr. Eric Shavig could finish his words, Thor answered directly. Yes, 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 I'm leaving town tonight, right. Also, please order two alcohol bombs quickly, I'm a little thirsty. After hearing this, Dr. Eric Shavig was in a state of confusion. He asked Thor in a strange way. What's wrong with you? How do you know what I'm going to say? After hearing this, Thor thought seriously for a moment, then looked at Dr. Eric Shavig and answered seriously. I don't know either. When you were about to talk about Jane, I felt like I knew what you were going to say next. Just like, I have just experienced all of this once before. After listening to Thor's words, Dr. Eric Shavig sat back in his chair, touched his chin, and said doubtfully. Are you sure you didn't lie to me? Or were you just lucky and guessed what I said? Two alcoholic bombs. Hearing this, Thor sat down hurriedly, first ordered two glasses of beer from the waiter, then turned to look at Dr. Eric Shavig and said. I don't know why, I just had a dream, I dreamed that there was a girl crying for help in the bathroom. Then I ran over to save people, and then I found a monster that looked like a rhino. Then I, I think I had a fight with him. Obviously, at this point, even Thor was a little unsure whether what he just said was true. And Dr. Eric Shavig on the side was even more straightforward. He put his hand on Thor's head and touched it. Seeing Dr. Eric Shavig's action, Thor slapped Dr. Eric Shavig's hand back and said unhappily. I'm not kidding you, this is real. Although I have forgotten the fight with that monster, the pain I felt in my body is real. This is not a dream, I remember. But before Thor could finish his words, he noticed a new change. He stopped talking and raised his right hand, and started to watch again and again. What is this? When did this pattern appear on my hand? It turned out that a cobalt blue tiger head mark appeared on the back of Thor's right hand. This surprised Thor very much, because even Thor himself didn't know when he had this tiger head mark. After hearing Thor's words, Dr. Eric Shavig turned his head to look at the back of Thor's hand, wanting to see what this brat was doing. But this sight made Dr. Eric Shavig frown, and he couldn't help but say to Thor angrily. You are not just delusional, you want to drag me down to your level, there is nothing on the back of your hand. No, 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 don't you see this mark on my hand? Obviously, Dr. Eric Shavig's answer also made Thor confused. Anxiously. Thor put the back of his hand in front of Dr. Eric Shavig, letting him watch carefully. No, nothing, stop playing tricks, finish the wine now and leave this town. Obviously, Dr. Eric Shavig was already furious at this time, and he didn't listen to Thor's explanation at all. Instead, he put a glass of alcohol bomb in front of Thor, hoping that Thor would finish the drink quickly and leave. All right, let's ignore these things for now and talk about it after we finish drinking. Seeing that Dr. Eric Shavig was so angry, Thor could only wave his hand and stop talking. Instead, 
he turned around and picked up the wine glass in front of him and drank. Help. There's a monster. Help. However, just after Thor had picked up his glass and drank for a while, a girl's cry for help came from the bathroom of the bar. After hearing this cry for help, Thor's head seemed to explode at this moment, and he felt a huge amount of information coming into his head. At the same time, this huge amount of information also conveyed the roar of a tiger. Ah! Thor couldn't help but cover his head with his hands and screamed in pain. Looking at the pain Thor, Dr. Eric Shabig put the wine glass back on the table and said to Thor unhappily. Oh my god, Thor, can't you just shut up for a moment? Drink the wine first, then try your tricks, do you hear me? Thor slowly loosened his hands that were covering his head, and kept muttering. The dream I just had was real. I did die in the battle, but someone reversed time and brought me back to life. But before Thor could mutter for long, a tiger's roar came again in his mind. This made Thor's face change and he shouted. Oh no, there's another girl in the bathroom. After saying that, Thor no longer paid attention to Dr. Eric Shavig and ran directly to the bathroom. After seeing this, Dr. Eric Shavig, who was sitting on a chair drinking, also stood up quickly and ran towards Thor, shouting. No, Thor, don't go over there. But Thor couldn't listen to Dr. Eric Shavig's words at this time. For Thor now, nothing is more important than saving the safety of the next girl. In just a moment, Thor came to the door of the bathroom again. But Thor didn't stop there, just took a simple look at the bathroom, then firmly pushed open the door of the bathroom and walked in again. I will not fall here again if I have to start over again. At this moment, Thor, who was determined in his belief, chose to face his own death. On the other side, the rhino monster had just captured the girl in front of him, and wanted to take her to the mirror world to deal with her properly. But at this moment, the door of the bathroom was opened, and Thor walked in from outside. It's just that the rhino monster didn't pay much attention to it. After all, for the rhino monster, what existed here were just some ordinary lindo. For this kind of ant-like creature, generally, you don't need to pay too much attention to it. First deal with the prey in front of you, and wait until you are interested later, and then come out to deal with other lindo. When Thor saw this, he didn't hesitate. He took out an empty bottle of wine from the trash can in the bathroom and threw it directly at the rhino monster's head. Boom. After watching the bottle hit the rhino monster's head, Thor showed a satisfied smile and shouted at the rhino monster. Hey, your opponent is here. The rhino monster that had just been attacked by Thor stopped trying to capture the lady in front of him, turned around and looked at Thor angrily, saying. How dare you, lowly Lindo, attack the great Garangi clan. Repay all this with your life. After saying that, the rhino monster ran directly towards Thor. Looking at the rhino monster getting closer and closer to him, Thor showed a smug smile on his face. This time it won't be the same as before. After saying that, Thor turned the back of his right hand to the mirror on the right side of the bathroom. Just when the rhino monster was about to touch Thor, another monster suddenly rushed out from the mirror on Thor's right side. It directly blocked the rhino monster's attack and wrestled with the rhino monster. When the rhino monster saw this scene, he couldn't help but shout out. Haha, I didn't expect that two common riders would appear in this remote town at the same time, but it doesn't matter. I'll deal with you first, and then I'll go find another common rider for revenge. It turned out that the reason why Thor had a headache just now was because a mirror world monster appeared in the bar. As a contractor, Thor knew nothing about it. In addition, Thor had never transformed before, so he had no idea about the abilities of common rider. So Thor's contracted beast, Death Tiger, simply stuffed all the information into Thor's brain. Thanks for watching.